Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. So here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, D.C. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson and knowledge showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all... It was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, Luke Rockhold. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. this matchup. Rockhold gets hit with a kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Beautiful straight counter. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he misses with the left punch there. 
Honing in on those counters. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Very nice leg kick there by Rocco. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. You're okay. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Rockhold. Big body kick lands. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Sneaky head kick. Well, 25 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rocco. Ooh. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, nice punch there by Rocco. Able to land there with the straight left. Nurmagomedov gets caught, and it's another straight punch. He has had no answer for that weapon tonight. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Ooh, what a punch. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Mago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice punch there by Rocco. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Magomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. Right on the button. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. He's as good a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Final seconds around round one. Big head kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round two. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Luke Rocco. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Rock 
Cole's hook to the body now is blocked. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. What a body kick. Mago Medov's shot is blocked. Fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. In. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, as we call on the unofficial numbers, 88 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rocco. And just below 50% landing at a 46% clip tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big ball from West Land. Now he gets back to range. Still a nice body to land. Pretty good right hand. Rockhold's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice strike. Rockhold gets stung by that leg kick. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Just a slip there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Good. Right punches there. Back and forth we go. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. He touches Rocco with a right hand there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Puts the guard lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. All the guys at AKA gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Oh, big left! Oh. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful body kick. Right. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, how clean is that jab by Nurmago Meta? Big knee there.
All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Lip kick. Rockhold gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Stay aggressive. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Straight punch landing with so much power. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Big power shot there. Rock hold. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch landing. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, we pull up the unofficial numbers here, and how about that? 153 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rockhold. And the connection rate, pretty good. 44% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just misses with the jab. Yes. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, big left hook there. really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Blocks the shot. Left hook counter. Rockhold's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Not there. Just misses there with the left. Just over two minutes now to go. Clipped him with the right hand there. Lands another punch to the head. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nice straight punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. Oh, that right hand is on point. How about that shin? He tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Rockhold. Don't stop, don't stop. Nice punch, Lance. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Oh, he, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Luke Rockhold. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he...